While world leaders are attempting to resume negotiations, Israel's defense forces are continuing their airstrikes against Hamas militants inside the Gaza Strip. Senior Hamas officials say that resuming talks with Israel on further exchanges of hostages and prisoners depends on a cessation of aggression and a ceasefire. In a bid to renew the truce, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken held talks with Qatari Prime Minister. Both leaders expressed the commitment to renewing truce, while also calling for aid and release of Hamas hostages. The Israeli military, on the other hand, says that it has intensified its attacks on the Palestinian enclave, adding that militants on every part of the Strip are now on target. This marks a big escalation in the Israeli offensive since the truce collapsed. Before the seven-day pause, the deadliest Israeli operations were limited to northern part of Gaza. צה"ל ממשיך ומרחיב את הפעולה הקרקעית מול מרכזי הכובד של חמאס בכל רצועת עזה. בכל רצועת עזה, במקום שיש מרכז כובד של חמאס, צה"ל פועל. Israel's military chief of staff says that their position and their operation in southern Gaza will match its earlier offensive against Hamas in the northern part of the Strip. The IDF claims to have killed Hamas's commander of the Sheti Battalion with an airstrike in Gaza. They say that the commander, Haitham Khwajari, directed militants to carry out raids into southern Israel on October 7th, when all of this began. The Israeli Defense Forces further said that since the beginning of their ground offensive, the troops have discovered more than 800 tunnel shafts in the Gaza Strip. The military said that around 500 of them have already been destroyed, either by setting off large explosive charges inside or by sealing them. Now, with the attacks intensifying, the humanitarian horror in Gaza is only worsening. Over two million Palestinians face death and devastation across the besieged strip. At least 700 Palestinians have been killed in the past 24 hours. It is one of the highest daily death tolls since the war began on October 7th. From the north to the south, Palestinians in Gaza say they have nowhere to go that is safe. The Israeli military targeted the Jabalia refugee camp in northern Gaza for a second day. Renewed strikes hit the refugee camp on Sunday. Several homes were destroyed, killing dozens of people with it. More people are feared to be buried under the rubble. Meanwhile, injured people were being rushed to Gaza City's Al Ali Baptist Hospital as Israel ordered more people in crowded southern Gaza to evacuate. Bodies were lined on the front yard of the hospital even as more bodies were brought in. <laughs> العشرات من الجرحى المصابين المختلفين والمئات من الشهداء في الحقيقة الإصابات في هذه المرة أصعب بكثير مما قبل هنت هذا الإصابات هي قصور معقدة مفتوحة تحتاج تدخل إلى تدخل طبي وعمليات عاجلة كما وصلت عدد كبير من الحالات المصابة في الرأس ومصابة في البطن وإلى وهي كل حالات تحتاج إلى تدخل لإنقاذ الحياة about 39 Palestinians, including 20 who are badly injured, arrived in Tunisia together with their families on Sunday. They were transported from the Gaza Strip for medical treatment. They had been evacuated via the Rafah border crossing into Egypt. 
Another flight is scheduled for Tuesday to bring an additional 160 injured people to Tunisia for treatment. Seeing the situation unfold in West Asia, the Iranian foreign minister has expressed prospects of the war spilling over in face of the Israeli attacks.